Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. Now if you're familiar with my channel or if you just simply clicked on this video then you can tell that I like squishmallows and of course you guys my audience love squishmallows as well. I get comments all the time saying Raven you inspired me to get my first squishmallow or Raven you inspired me to start collecting and I absolutely love that and I'm so glad that we can all share in our squishmallow love together but today I kind of wanted to focus on your squishmallow love specifically. We talk about my Squishmallow collection like way too much, okay? I'm always doing Squishmallow hauls and Squishmallow hunting, so let's focus on you for a second, okay? I sent out a Google form to my subscribers a couple weeks ago asking to submit pictures of their Squishmallow collection, and today we will be seeing a wide variety of Squish collections from you guys. I'm very, very excited. Now, I did see somebody else do this video already, so I was very inspired by this video right here. Go ahead and check it out. I thought it was a fantastic idea, so of of course, I wanted to try my hand at it, and you guys really came through with the responses. I got over 680 responses to this Google form, so in order to not make this video like three hours long, I unfortunately cannot get to everybody's, and I'm gonna try to be snappy so I can fit in as many people as possible, but if you guys like this video, then I'm totally down to do a part two because we have, we have so many responses. We can definitely do a part two. <laughs> so just let me know, like this video, leave me a comment, all that good stuff. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I have everything pulled up on my computer. That way I can see the images better clearly on my big monitor. Oh, I also forgot Senor Frog here. I'm so sorry you have been facing away from the camera. Okay. So the first collection we're going to be looking at today comes from Game with Kiwi. Thank you so much for submitting. I love this collection so much. I love the cows up on the top. I love the fairy lights. I love the vines in the back. I love the little like froggy slash green section. And I love that even the Connor slippers are included. <laughs> and I love the little clips just like hanging on the edges. And I like that there's different kinds of shelves. There's like the white one and the wire cube. So I thought that was kind of cool. They said they started collecting in summer of 2021 and their first Squishmallow was a floral Wendy. They say that their goal is to collect as many cows, Bigfoots, and Averys as they can and that Squishmallows offer comfort and make my space feel cozy. I definitely relate. The next collection is from Abby Lou and this is so cute. I absolutely love this collection so much. I love the little shelf and we've got Junie on the top. I love how the Squish are kind of like mixed in with everything else and I love the other plushies on the bottom. This is so cute. They say, I found your videos and started to really learn more about Squishmallows and my collection has been growing ever since. My favorites are Wendy and Junie and really want a rush with a strawberry cow. Thank you so much for submitting. Oh my goodness. What a cute collection. This next collection comes from Sharks and Electric Eels and I just absolutely had to showcase this one because the pink shelves are so beautiful and I just love the colors in this collection. I love all the bugs on the top that really speaks to me and then all of the different shelves i love it i'm seeing some butterflies i'm seeing easter i'm seeing pink babies I'm hearing my cat crying in the hallway. I'm so sorry if you can hear him. But I also see frogs, plenty of frogs, and even some Halloween squish on the bottom. So I just love this collection. And they say this photo is only a third of my collection. It's all over the room and it's so hard to get it all in just one photo. I started collecting early 2022. It has consumed my life and my wallet. RIP. That's a big mood. That's a big mood. <laughs> this next one is also super aesthetic and has kind of those pink vibes. This is from Lexus Mallow over on Instagram. And oh my goodness, I love this collection. This is definitely after my own heart. I see lots of little pink babies. I see some cows. I see some pink Bigfoot, strawberry milk. I see lots of green cuties, including some frogs down there. And I just love how these shelves are arranged. And then with the TV in the middle and then the little panels with the clips, so cute and the vines so good and i like how you have some different plushies and toys mixed in here like the bum bums and like the little hello kitty figures and everything like that this is so cute and they say started collecting because of watching your videos i became obsessed and bought cortez and the next thing i knew i had 100 <laughs> my favorite are the butterflies thank you so much for submitting i appreciate it glad i could inspire you we have some fantastic color coordination from ben's squishmallow life they submitted this absolutely fantastic shelf this is a pretty big shelf and i just love 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 the color coordination as you know that's what i like to do for mine these are some 
absolute cuties. I see so many good squish in here. I love, for some reason, like the multicolored tie-dye one is really speaking to me and I normally don't collect ones that look like that, but something about them all together is very pleasing. They say I started collecting because my sister started collecting before me, then I wanted Squishmallows, then my sister lost all interest, so I got all her Squish and I started collecting and hunting and I still do today. Oh my goodness. I love that you just inherited all of your sister's Squishmallows. That's iconic. Now we have Cozy Elfheim, I hope I'm saying that correctly, submitted a absolutely stunningly aesthetic picture, but in the more neutral realm of Squishmallows, they have this gorgeous like neutral brown collection and room. This is so stunning. You know me, I'm all about the color. So it's nice to see things on kind of like the opposite side of it. I mean, there's still some color in here, but like more on the brown, warm neutrals. I love this like rattan shelf in the corner with all of these cute cows on the top and lambs. And then I love Benny on like the little stool. I love the big Omar and you We've got a bunch of them like hanging on the little garland and on the little shelf in the middle this is so cute and just the rest of the decor is so stunning they say i started collecting in 2021 after watching console kato get into them but i really stuck with mainly neutral colored squish which are my favorites for me they have helped create a cozy space to work in each day since i work from home i honestly feel you i feel you this is my office where i work i gotta have it be nice and cozy otherwise can't work in here <laughs> now the next one is from our lovely friend rc shero over on instagram and it's so funny i saw the picture first and i was like oh i gotta show this and i was like oh this is sharon's collection if you don't know sharon made me my fantastic custom baratelli that i have right here with the strawberry so definitely go check her out on instagram but she has this absolutely fantastic bigfoot collection and i just had to highlight it because of bigfoot's hello and there's even a custom one in here the one in between these two like winter um bigfoots that is so gorgeous i absolutely love that one i just love seeing all of them side by side and seeing all of the little feet together they are so cute and sharon says i started collecting bigfoots because i'm deeply into cryptids i collect cryptid plushies specifically so it was an easy jump i have a few other types but my pride and joy are these bigfoot shelves and i do not blame you they are so cute thank you so much for sharing with us yes no Okay. <laughs> this next collection is from Zazid B. And this one really caught my eye because of this corner shelf that they have. I thought that was so cool. I haven't really seen this before. I just thought it was so nice and it's pink, which is a bonus. And they have the little net on top. And I always love a good net with like the clips along the edge, so good. And they have so many cuties here. I love the Karomi. I love some of the Hello Kitty squish in here, the little Evangelica. I see some frogs. I see mm, at least two frogs in there. And of course, we've got some LED lights to kind of set the mood and the vibe of the whole thing. And I just thought it was really nice. They say my boyfriend bought me my first Squishmallow for Valentine's Day about three years ago, and I've loved collecting them ever since. One of my favorite Squish is Noodles, who one of my friends got me for Christmas last year. Yes, bestie. I love noodles too. I feel you. This next collection caught my eye. This is from SF Squishies because we have the same shelves, bestie. Oh my goodness. They have my same exact shelves that I have just in white and I thought that was such a funny coincidence and I absolutely love that on the top we have some different plushies these are all frogs but like not squishmallows and I love them and then we've got a dedicated frog shelf absolutely yes and then we've got some red pink and white babies I see you have a winter bigfoot which I would like to steal and we have some cuties on the bottom as well including some halloween squish and please if you see this tell me where you got those little blue and purple froggies that are hanging off the side i need those but i love this collection and i love that you have a philippe he is so precious i would also steal him and they say i started collecting in 2020 my first squish was gina the gingerbread squishmallows make me feel happy just because it's fun to trade with people and hang out with the squish community so sweet so sweet thank you so much for submitting and please tell me where those frogs are from this next collection caught my eye because a variety of reasons first of all we have the build a bear all along the top of the wall. How did you hang them up like that? That's kind of iconic. And then we have the squish jail on the left. Please set them free. What crimes did they commit? <laughs> and then we have a cute little wire shelf full of them and even a little net. And I just love that they're just like spilling over. Like there's so many squish, they don't even fit on all of the shelves and nets and everything. 
big mood, big mood. This picture comes from Justier. I hope I'm saying that correctly. So thank you so much for sharing with us. And they said, I've been collecting since I was little and collecting Squishmallows means so much to me. I love making lists of ISOs and Daisos for goals in the future. My faves are Philippe, Benny, and all the colorful butterflies. Love you, Froggy. Thank you so much. Thank you for submitting. This next collection is from my good friend, Mary, AKA Mary's Mallows. First of all, we got the little cube with all of the color coordinated little boxes. Perfect, perfect. You know, I love some good color coordination. Bonus points for the actual <laughs> in-store display with all the squish in it. I still have an in-store display, but I've stopped using it for squish. Um, it just has my mail in it now. <laughs> and Miss Mary has not one, but two noodles. So that counts for double extra points. Okay. Mary says, started collecting since 2020, question mark. Animal Crossing Twitter got me into them and I've been hooked ever since. They're just so cute and it's fun to be on the lookout for them and collecting and helping others out to collect as well. I guess the best part is the community aspect and helping each other find ISOs, whether locally or across the world. I agree. The community aspect of it is really fun, whether you're actually trading and helping people find ISOs are just talking about it with people. I think that's a really big draw to Squishmallows, I would say, at least from these answers that I've been reading from your submissions. <laughs> Again, I am a simple lady. I see color coordination, I click. And we have another collection from Piff and Rose, which has some stunning color coordination. First of all, we have literally two walls of this room being taken up by Squish and I'm so here for it. We have all kinds of babies on the left here. We have kind of like more neutrals, white. I see some Connors, some snowmen. And then we start bleeding into the big mama shelf, which just, ah, the colors, the colors. So I just thought this was so fun. We've got so much squish in the room here and all of it is just so nicely put together. I just loved it so much. They say, hi Raven, my kids and I started collecting squishmallows around 2019 and Paco the Parrot was our first and instantly we were in love. We also love collecting peacocks and axolotls. Our favorite thing to do is fill up an inflatable pool full of them and jump in. Oh my goodness, that is so iconic. Thank you, Carly, Indy, and Matt for sharing your collection. I need to see this inflatable pool squish pit. This, this is so iconic. <laughs> this next collection comes from Squish Caitlin and this one really spoke to me because of all of the in-store displays that you have. Oh my goodness, I love it. We have like two of the black ones, which I think are from Halloween, a Valentine's Day one, and then I'm not quite sure what the far right one is. I love that you took this many from the stores. Like, I love it. But I love that you mostly have smaller ones which like I love the smaller sizes so speaks to me definitely I just love this and then to top it all off the little clips dangling on the top so cute and they say I started collecting January 2021 started my TikTok shortly after I've had so much fun collecting and reporting the Squishmallow news to help all collectors find their Squish dreamies my faves are definitely the mushroom Bigfoots and shrimp I'm also a Florida native let's go Squishmallows have connected me to so many people with the same loves for all these cute babies I love this community Aw, we need Need to continue building up the army of Florida natives who own the Squishmallow store displays. Okay, we need to rise up. Our next collection comes from Jenna Cat, and I saw this and I was like, oh yeah. Oh, this is a collection. <laughs> I just love all these cubes just jam packed with Squishmallows. This is a wall. This is a wall of Squish and I'm here for it. I love it so much. I see Zozos, so instantly we are friends. You have Adabelle, so I will be on my way to come and steal her soon. I love your little Avery collection. I just love how much there is here. It's truly speaking to me as a person who also loves to have a lot going on. And Jenna Cat says, I started collecting in 2018 very slowly when I saw PJ the Panda at Target and had to have him. Eventually my daughter fell in love with them too as we saw more in stores and now we have a house full. And some favorites of theirs include PJ the Panda, Connor the Cow, and Roseanne the Secure Cat. I hope I'm saying that correctly because she just embodies my entire vibe. Heck yes. Thank you so much for submitting. This next collection from My Squish Diary, I just had to include because look at this. There's so much pink going on here. We have the pink vibes. I love it. We have some crochet stuff in here. I see you. And we have these really cute like suspended shelves. I love those so much. But the main reason was 
all of the little pictures of the frogs, the little paintings of these different like fruit frogs, it seems like, on the wall. I love those. I'm obsessed. And I love your cows. And some of them are even wearing crochet clothes. I love it. And you have an Adabelle. I'm going to steal her. And they say, I started collecting in January 2022. Squishmallows to me are like serotonin I can buy and collect. And they're the cutest. So it's so hard to not want them. My favorite are the pink ones, cows, and Sanrio. Absolutely. They are just purchasable serotonin for sure for sure this next collection comes from squash mallows with an extra s at the end and i saw this net and i was like this is the prettiest squish mallow net i've ever seen in my freaking life i don't know how you got them to all sit so perfectly and the rainbow gradient with all of the different colors and you even got that with the clips on the outside i just what magical powers do you have and how can I steal them, please? Because this is so aesthetically pleasing. But they also have a gorgeous cow collection on the bottom and some bum bums. And of course, some cute aesthetic blue squish to match with the sheets and the pillows. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. 10 out of 10. And they say, I started collecting in September 2022. You definitely influenced my addiction, lol. But my boyfriend helps me get started since he got me my very first one, a 20 inch kippy from Target. Squishmallows have been a really nice way to channel my inner child and my love language is touch. So the soft, squishy textures of them make me feel really happy. That is so sweet. I absolutely love that. Thank you so much for sharing with us. And again, I know we're all about the color here, but I'm also trying to sprinkle in some neutral collections since those are also very satisfying. So we have one here from Sabrina, which is so, so cute. We've got cows, we've got bats, we've got foxes, and a good amount of hug me's as well. These are so cute. I absolutely love these. And then the dark colored shelf with the vines just adds to it all. I just love the aesthetic, the vibes. It's so nice. And I just love that for Emily, you pretty much just can make out her face and that's it. It's just so, she's so funny. I love her. Sabrina says, I started collecting about a year and a half ago. I started with only collecting local wild life as I'm from BC, Canada, and I'm an environmental scientist, so these types of critters are a big interest of mine. I then branched out into other animals slash squish I just thought are cute, such as cows. That is just absolutely precious. I love when collectors can have some sort of like connection to their squishmallow collection. I just think it's really fun. So I love that you're an environmental scientist and collect the wildlife. That is so cool. This next squishmallow collection from Daiso Dreamers is more on the Halloween-y side, which if you know me, that's not really my thing. Thing. I'm much more like colorful and I like Christmas, but I figured let's showcase some Halloween because I know that a lot of you are very into Halloween squish. So Daiso Dreamers has this absolutely iconic, mostly bat collection. And I just had to show this to show you some Halloween squish, but because they also got their little black kitty in the picture. And I just thought this was so cute and precious. He's literally sniffing the black cats that are on the shelf. So cute. So they have a lot of bats, um, lots of like the black bats and even like the strawberry bat and the purple bats and some of the cute little possums on the very bottom. Oh my goodness, I need to get myself one of those smaller ones. I have the one from Five Below, but I need like the small one. So I just thought that this was so fun and the kitty especially made the picture, so. So they say, my boyfriend got me my first Squishmallow this past Valentine's Day and clearly created the monster I've become. <laughs> I now Squish hunt with my mom who lives in a different state and we have a blast finding Squish together virtually. My favorite Squish are obviously spooky, scary, dead. The picture is complimented with my IRL squish cat named Soup. Soup's squish is Glenna because they are both water babies. I cannot keep Soup away from any water source and when I read Glenna's bio, I knew she was for Soup. Love your channel. That is so sweet. Okay, first of all, squish hunting with your mom. So fun. So sweet. Love that. And your kitty's name being Soup is... I just, I, it's too perfect. It's too perfect. The next collection is from MW417 and bonus points because they are holding my froggy crossing switch case. So bonus points. Thank you for that. Oh, and I just saw the coloring book too. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I absolutely love everything going on here. First of all, pink walls in your bedroom. I'm jealous. The Squishmallow net is so nice. I love all of the clips along the bottom. So cute. And I just love how the Squishmallows are taking over the bed and the shelves and the net and on the floor as well. 
I definitely relate. That's just how it is. I love all the frogs, of course. I see cows and Bigfoot, so a very nice 10 out of 10. And they say, my aunt Chloe introduced me to Squish, but watching your videos inspired me the most to start a huge collection. I feel like Squishmallows express my happiness. Each new Squish I take home with me gives me joy and excitement and allows me to show the colors I like and what animals or characters I like. And I like that I can have a connection with you. I have two cats and my youngest cat, Tuxedo, steals the tiny Squish too another squishmallow thief oh my goodness i hope that you can arrest your cat soon because i'm gonna arrest mine soon for all the theft <laughs> now this next person didn't leave me a name or username but bestie you have a fantastic collection i saw this and i was like wow they've got a lot of squish and i love that we have a lot of pastels which i love and then we have the nice row of halloween squish right in the middle just to break it all up i love that and we have a variety of ways that we are storing them we've got an over the door hanger thing full of squish which i'm assuming is like a shoe rack so that's really cool really smart idea i kind of want to get one of those now and then we've got of course the shelves right up on the wall positively filled with squish and we even have one of those like little toy spiral hammock things i had one of those when i was a kid so our good bestie says i don't remember when i started collecting all i remember is my grandma giving me a cam and i fell in love squishmallows are not just an item or a toy they are a commitment and a lifestyle agreed <laughs> fave is obviously cam that my grandma got me oh that is so sweet i definitely have sentimental value to ones that people give me and if it's your grandma it's even more special so thank you so much for sharing with us our next very satisfying collection comes from Lord of the Squish. Oh, and let me say right off the bat, everything is so organized, so pretty. Like everything just seems absolutely perfectly placed. I love it. We have a lot of Pokemon Squish. I see some Star Wars Squish. We've got a lot of Bigfoots, a lot of licensed characters. We have a whole row of just cows. And again, they're all just so perfectly placed. And we have super rare Squish as well. Look at that gold. Golden Hans. Look at the one that you get from like the trading cards. I can't believe you have that one. We've got Jack the Black Cat and we've got those, um, I can't remember where those all black ones are from, but I know that they're like event exclusive or something like that and we also have some big boys up on the bed over there and a whole little wall frame thingy full of clips this is a very satisfying collection and i love how you just have everything so organized so lord of the squish says i started collecting believe it or not this year in april I, I don't believe- oh my god, I don't believe it. <laughs> my daughter had a few for years, but I didn't really know what Squishmallows were until my daughter started to get more of them from friends and family. I did my research and I was flabbergasted by the sheer range and types of Squishmallows there were. I saw Otto and then from that moment, I was hooked. Honestly, I remember thinking that an army of Squishmallows would be silly, but they bring me a lot of joy. And surrounding myself with something that brings you joy is never silly. So true. I can't believe that this collection was started on only April. That is amazing. Next, we have another Halloween collection from AO. I wanted to showcase this one because they have so many bats. So look at this bat collection plus the Mothman one, but I absolutely love this. If you are a Halloween squish lover, I am sure you're going to appreciate this probably even more than me. I love the dedication to like specific Squishmallow species or colors or types. It is always very admirable, the dedication, you know? I'm jealous of your white bigfoot clip i i want to steal that one but i absolutely love this obviously the bats are very loved in the squishmallow community as we have seen so far they say i started collecting late last year i love bats so i decided to make it a goal to collect them as of sending this picture i'm only missing one bat left and i'm waiting for her squish mail absolutely iconic iconic and then next we have a collection from bestie michaela who is always in my streams if you come to my streams and michaela has this great collection that has outgrew her shelves so it is now on the floor which is a mood i have so many squish on the floor and we have so many cuties i see cinda i love cinda i see some cows of course i love the cows you have the graduation benny which again i will be stealing him and of course frogs i always love the frogs and michaela says well you actually introduced me to squishmallows you're welcome and i was interested for months but didn't actually start collecting until after my mom passed i bought the first one the day after and it turned into a coping thing finding squish i liked made me really happy in a dark time and before i knew it i had way more than i knew what to do with i thought that was a very sweet squishmallow backstory and just a nice highlight of how you know squishmallows are not 
just Squishmallows. As somebody said earlier, they are a lifestyle, but they can also mean so much to us. And I know for a lot of us, you know, we kind of go through some stuff, but we always have things to turn to, whether it be Squishmallows, our favorite YouTuber, our favorite snack, a nice little drinky drink to treat yourself. So just wanted to throw that out there and remind everybody your collections are awesome. Your collections are great, whether you collect them because they help you deal with bad times or whether you just think they're cute and you're like, I just want that. Whatever it is, I hope that you're having fun. And again, thank you for submitting and sharing with me all of your collections and your reasons for collecting them. I really had a blast going through these. And lastly, I wanted to end it off with this very funny submission that made me laugh. This person didn't give me any information. They just sent in this picture of their sunny collection, which is very cute. I love it. And then they put in all caps, rise up sunny army. So do with that information what you will. I, I love it. I do love sunny. I have quite a few of them myself. So you know what? I'm gonna agree rise up sunny army <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it again i think i will probably have to make a part two even if you don't want it because i just have so many submissions and i did not get through even like a third of them please let me know if you do want to see it if not i think i'm gonna make it anyway but anyways i hope you enjoyed again thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one